Hello everyone. So today I want to focus on getting to the point where we can actually type in Chinese on the computer. And so I want to show you how we can actually add a few different input systems. Well, two different input systems, one that's native and one that's third party. Um, now, if you have any experience with other forms of uh, input for, for the computer for Chinese, I would love to hear about them. The one that I've been using, I've been using for a very long time. I've been kind of comfortable with it and haven't seen a need to to change, but you know, maybe there's something out there that I don't know about. I would love to hear about that in the comments. So um, first thing, let me pop this up for us here. So this is the language options for your keyboard on a Windows computer. So if you hit your Windows key and you type in keyboard, it's gonna pop up right there, edit language and keyboard options, click into that, it's gonna pop up right here. Okay, so now you're gonna see that I have several inputs already put in, English, Chinese, Simplified, Mongolian traditional and Russian. Now, um, you know, depending on whatever language you're typing in, those are going to be pop. Those are going to be popping up here. You just hit Add Language. You type in whatever you want. In the case of us, we're looking at Chinese. Chinese is going to pop up right there. You click into it and you add it. For me, it's grayed out because I already have it installed. But for you, it would look something like one of these. Click into it and have it installed. Once that is done, let me pop over to my browser. You're going to actually be able to hit your Windows key plus space bar. At least that's what mine is. You might need to check and see if yours is set differently, but I don't think I've changed mine. I think mine's the default with Windows space bar. And you're gonna see that it pops up with this thing that's it's above my and partially blocked by my camera there on the screen here. Um, you'll see, so highlighted right now, it's English. And then this one right here is the one that we just added. That's the native Microsoft input for Pinyin. So, you know, if you're using a, if you're familiar with a different input system, then you probably don't need this video, but I would suggest adding the one that I suggested there uh, because most, I feel like all, at this point, pretty much every foreigner who's learning Chinese is going to be learning it in Pinyin. Uh, and that, that one is the, the Pinyin input. But anyways, once we select the input, say I wanna type Ni Hao. So I type in N-I-H-A-O. You can do individual characters one at a time, or it actually has the capability of doing multiple characters, which is really nice. And it has pretty good predictive input. So in this case, I typed in the Pinyin for hello, Ni Hao, and it came up as the first option. So then if I wanna type that, I just click one and bam, you're done. You've typed in what you wanted to type. Now, if you're typing in Ni Hao, but it's not hello, let's say it's some other one, it gives you a selection of other options that have the same phonetics. You can swap through them using the arrow key. Uh, up and down on the arrow key will actually let you swap through them. You'll see it even comes up with some ASCII uh, uh, emojis as well. And there's an emoji option there at the end for the uh, little smiley face there that you can actually add other things to. But uh, Anyways, it's, it's a fairly decent uh, input system. The native one is pretty good. Now, the one that I've been using is actually the one that's the same as this web page that I have up, the Sogu Shuha. Um, so if you see, if you click into my, my keyboard inputs, one of them is this one right here, the Sogu option. Um, now, uh, in order to get to this download page, you can just you know type into your browser. Uh, let me do it in English. Sogu keyboard. Uh, Microsoft Store. So now this is a Tencent owned company. It is a Tencent affiliated program. So if you're not from, if you're not comfortable with downloading and installing Tencent software, don't do this. Uh, you can just use the native one, but I've, I've not had any problems with this particular one. You click in here, you hit install. It's going to walk you through using the Microsoft Store, the installation, and then it'll automatically add it to your inputs. Now, once it's in your inputs, swap over to it, where they're gonna do the same thing, type in N-I-H-A-O for Ni Hao, and it has the same kind of predictive system. A great thing about this though is that, so San Guo, the Three Kingdoms period, say you're really interested in the Three Kingdoms period and you know that in Chinese, the Three Kingdoms period is called the San Guo, Shiqi San Guo. I type in S-A-N-G-U-O for San Guo. If I press down on my arrow key, it actually automatically generates a bunch of suggestions for searches that you can then have uh, Sogo go and search these things for you to find some different stuff that like it might give you for the, for the Three Kingdoms period. It gives you like this one right here is a, a TV show, things like that. It's really nice to see, to kind of help you see what's out there. It gives you some 
generative options. Now, going back to Ni Hao, um, the right and left arrow keys don't work in the same way. They actually let you go through and they let you edit what you've already typed. Um, but uh, when you go through here, once you get to the end of what you typed, you can actually start to hop through these. You can also go whole pages at a time by pressing the plus and minus keys on your keyboard like this. Right? So that lets you cycle through and that for more obscure characters, that's how you're going to have to do it for ones that are, especially for what we do, we're doing a lot of classical Chinese with words that aren't really used anymore. You're going to have to dig kind of deep sometimes. Um, but anyways, it's, it's a really nice program. Um, if you hold control shift F as well, it will let you swap between the uh, classical or sorry, not classical, traditional and simplified forms of the script. So actually, if I go back to uh, Ni Hao at the very beginning, uh, you'll see that. So the second one, the second option there, the second character in that, when I hold control shift F, it's going to change into its traditional form. Now, if I wanted to type in traditional, I have it set to that, and then I hit my number and it'll pop up right in there. Now, um, there are other more advanced options that you can get into once you start to become more familiar with the program and more familiar with the language, um, but I'll leave that for another video. I hope this has been helpful. If you're not comfortable with Tencent, don't go for SoGo. Uh, it is generally a better program. It works a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to use than the native Microsoft one. Uh, but you know, the native Microsoft one doesn't require you to add any third-party software. So you know, if that's not something you want to do, then just stick with the native one. You can get the same things done. All right. So like I said, if there's something that uh, you know that might be uh, beneficial to me in my own uh, typing endeavors, uh, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know what the latest kind of tech is for uh, inputs. Mine's kind of dated in some respects, but it's it works very well. And so I haven't really seen a need to change it. But, you know, maybe I'll see something in the comments that'll make me change what I do. So I really appreciate you watching. Um, uh, I'll be posting some more videos like this to help us get set up for actually working with Chinese on the computer. And so I hope to, to see you in the other videos. If you like this video, give me a like. If you like my channel, give me a subscribe and see you in the next one.